Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojo's channel, and today I have a review for an app for the iPhone 4 specific. It's uh, known as uh, iMovie, and this is obviously a port from the desktop uh, mov movie editor for the Mac, and this again for iPhone 4 specific, just because obviously with the new HD camera implemented uh, in the iPhone 4, they want an editing app to go kind of hand in hand with it, and iMovie is available for $4.99, a little bit pricey by app standards, I guess, if you're used to the whole $0.99 cents deal, but very well worth it. Um, so when you open iMovie, you'll be presented with your project list, and it shows when you made the project, the duration of the project, you know, right here, time-wise. Um, and you can view your project by simply clicking on them. You have your options right here to play, export, and delete. And if you go into export, you have your options to export in... Uh, medium or standard 360p quality, large 540p quality, or of course HD 720p quality. Um, now this is really awesome because you know again uh, the iPhone 4 cannot export HD natively; it needs a third-party method or it needs another app like Pixel Pipe or iMovie or even you you know manually exporting this from your from your phone to your desktop to get the HD quality. Now um, when you export, like I said, you can just choose your thing here if you want to go in and edit it and then go back to export when you're done but looking at a project if you want to edit here um, you're presented with your project right here in the middle of the video and you can scrub through either by using scrolling through here on the actual video or even down here uh, using this as a scrubber tool your fingers kind of you know jumping or moving through the timeline I should say now here you can go back to your projects list you can play the video from here and if you hit this button, you can actually import video footage from your library. So if you have some video footage, you can drop it in from here. And it shows you the date that it's taken, so it kind of organizes your content very nicely. And you can kind of get a preview of what's in the video uh, just from viewing from this little timeline right here. You can also go into your photos. So if you have photos that you want to use, and you have audio, if you want to use audio from your music that's uh, within iTunes, so you can even use music that you've purchase from the iTunes store you just have on your iPod. You can use the standard theme music. Now, um, do know do know that when you uh, use the theme music that your actual audio and your video will be overlaid. So if you have, like, if you recorded your voice, then that won't be, obviously that won't be playing with the theme music. The theme music will overlap it, I should say. All right, um, now, you can, like I said, you can also import photos here if you want to put photos in between uh, clips. Uh, and you can click on the settings button to look at your settings for uh, the thing if you want to set a theme you have th uh, default themes to set from here you can see it kind of changes the whole title slide and stuff like that and you can pick you know from what you want if you want a news theme I can do that I can turn the theme music on or off now if I tap here I can shorten or you know lengthen the clip from depending on how I you know um, how long or short I want the actual clip to be if I want to cut off some stuff uh, now again, it's it's pretty easy to scrub through, and it supports uh, landscape as well. If I hang on, I actually have the rotation lock on, so let me turn that off. So again, it supports the landscape mode as well with a ba bigger screen to edit if you want that. Um, so it is a pretty nice interface. Though one big con I'm gonna say for iMovie as of current, maybe they'll be fixing this in an update. You can't actually cut or snip clips. You can't, you know, if you tap here, there's no way to actually. You can delete the whole clip. Um, you can, you know, drag it out of the timeline to delete it, or just hit delete there. But there's no actual way to uh, just, uh, you know, cut one, you know, the first 10 seconds of the clip. For example, if you put a title slide on the first clip, um, it's going to be on that whole clip. So if that whole clip is the first part is four minutes, it's going to be the whole, you know, four minutes. That title slide is going to stay there. So what I had to do for in this case. I took this all in one take. I took a five minute video in one take, but I only wanted the title to be uh, on the first 10 seconds. So what I had to do is I had to import the, cl the whole five minute clip once, shorten it all the way down to 10 seconds, and then import the clip again, and then start shorten it to the point where this clip ended and this clip started and added transition. So it was really, really tedious task, you know, if you're doing uh, kind of like YouTube worthy clips or YouTube worthy you know, videos. I guess if you're doing quick point and shoot, uh, that wouldn't really be a huge deal, but if you're doing, you know, like I said, YouTube-worthy videos, you're going to need that cut feature there, and it's not there, so it's really a, it makes things way more complicated. Now, if you double tap a clip here, like I just showed you, you can bring up the title style of uh, things you want, if you want to add an opening title, a middle title, or an ending title, 
and you can mess around with those clip settings. Um, you can also add audio, obviously, if you want to turn that on or off. If you don't want audio there, you can add a location title if you want to kind of show where you, you know, where you were when you took this video. Uh, kind of just the same thing as geotagging with photos. Um, and other than that, you can just scroll through simply here. Um, transitions. You have a button between when there's two separate clips. You can view it here if you click it. Uh, you can set how the transition settings. So like how long you want the transition to be for one point you know, five seconds to two, you know, t as long as two seconds, you basically have two options, either none, obviously, cross dissolve, or you can use your themes default uh, transition setting. So I'm just going to set with cross dissolve. So you don't have a lot of, you know, transitions, uh, but you have the basic ones that are needed and the ones that are, you know, with your theme. And again, like I said, you can play your video from there to watch it. And, you know, the iPhone 4 quality is awesome, so it does really do a good job, and this editor uh, is basic. I mean, it does everything needed for, you know, what you need to do uh, for a quick video. I guess not a lot of people will be editing 7-minute videos on their iPhone 4. Anyways, overall, I still say it's worth the download if you have an iPhone 4, worth the $4.99, um, but I'm hoping in future revisions of iMovie that they add a, you know, cl uh, cut uh, feature, you know, for their timeline. But then again, uh, you know, not, you know, it's, it is a phone per se, and, you know, I don't want to ask too much for a phone application. So this, this app does great just for being, you know, a phone video editor. It does way better than, you know, de a lot of other default apps out there for, you know, other phones and, uh, you know, other video editors out there. Anyways, uh, still worth the download. Like I said, I give it a thumbs up. Definitely do check it out. iMovie for the iPhone 4 out there in the App Store for $4.99. I'll leave a download link in the uh, video description below for, you know, in the App Store. Anyways, guys, this has been Adrian here for Digital Dojos. I hope you guys enjoyed.